Surprisingly, I experienced warmer temperatures back in Vienna than the week before in Ontario, at least for the first few days. The courts at our summer training facility were therefore already in a good condition. Sebastian Sorgner, Denis Dragomirov and Niki Stoiber were in Vienna for practice this week. The other players were scattered around at different tournaments. More on that later. Roland Berger, Michael Glöckler's coach, was already on site in the summer outfit. And this week there were once again some units together on the schedule. The indoor season for the Air Dome came to an end at the LTM, with the dismantling taking place this week. A lot of work and personnel are required to complete the necessary work. The weather also has to be suitable, no rain and not too much wind. <laughs> it is always interesting to see how the appearance of the surroundings can change within a few days. Here are also a few pictures of how the appearance of the club is actually changing. For me, the summer look has more charm. Our working environment hasn't really changed. It is still between fences and hopefully inside lines. And Surprise, surprise, improving the quality within the lines was once again our goal this week. For Sebastian Sorger, the last weeks have not gone as we would have expected. We know the reasons for this, are aware that these reasons cannot be eliminated overnight and are focusing on the process. How did the tournaments go for our players? Slava Belinsky played another future in Antalya. After two victories, he lost 6-7 in the third in the quarterfinal. Such a tight defeat is always difficult to digest. I hope Slava can move on. Yuri Rodionov was in action at the Challenger in Madrid this week. And he performed well in his three matches so far. He will play the semi-finals after the release of this video. He already played good tennis on clay last week in Estoril. After the difficult last few weeks, this is certainly a positive turnaround. My partner, Ivan Galic, was at the Challenger in split with Matej Dodik. And things went very well there until the video was released. Matej is in the semi-finals after three wins. For his only second appearance at the Challenger, this is already a very nice success. He also won all his matches up to the semi-finals in two sets. This shows once again, despite the many things he can still improve, how dangerous he already is. It was another eventful week, but that is exactly why we have been able to dedicate ourselves to this task with hunger and energy for so many years. There are no weekends, holidays or long vacations, but I would never trade it for any other job. And you can definitely call that luck. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next week.